Oh, Pablo here. I'd like to welcome you to um, Chainsaw Sharpening, part of my uh, Do It Yourself Tips Info series. Again, it's Do It Yourself Tips Info for more information on many subjects. Uh, we're going to start out with the uh, motorized saw chain sharpening for a chainsaw today and um, here I've got a, uh, a grinder that's uh, 20, uh, 12 volt and uh, I just hook it up to a battery charger to convert uh, AC to uh, DC so that I can use this grinder when I'm at home. What I like about this grinder is portable so that if I'm in the field I can always uh, take a car battery, a truck battery um, uh, and have power so that I can sh sharpen my chains while I'm in the field of the woods. So <clears throat> I opted for the uh, 12 volt and many types of grinders. Taking this, I've set this up for a 35 degree angle. The bit in here is um, set for this size chain, um, the tooth on the chains. and. Um, it's uh, you set it at 35 depending you can tell what angle because you just line it up with your sawtooth and it'll tell you your angle. Typically most saw chains are 35 degrees and it, it swings either way uh, depending on what side of the saw teeth you're doing on the saw chain and uh, it has uh, it has adjustments of up and down as well. Um, it has a lock, so and what I've done here is I've used an old uh, chainsaw bar and a stump vise you can get. One of the things I want to mention is I do have glasses on, but um, I find that with doing this that I'm, I probably want to put on some safety glasses. Even though I have glasses, I wear glasses, I, I recommend wearing safety glasses. Put in uh, some metal filings in your eye. It's not good. I've been to the hospital once for that while I was grinding. I was wearing my other glasses. I didn't have safety glasses and I learned the hard way. So safety first. Put on the safety glasses even if you wear glasses or a uh, shield because you will get uh, metal filings from this. So I'm looking for any of the saw teeth on the saw chain that's nicked and that's what I'm going to concentrate the most on. Otherwise it's just a quick sharpening on each sawtooth. I'm not sharpening extra metal here. I want to make sure I'm on target, laser focused on that sawtooth. Sawtooth because 12 volt has a tendency to heat up if you leave them running a lot. So I've learned to just um, shut them off until I'm ready to uh, grind. You can see the top wheel that's right, right here. Let me get a little pointer here. Hard here. Let me get this top wheels here. That elevates up and down. There's a lock right in, right in here. You can see it if I lift up on it. This little lock right here locks against the sawtooth, and it prevent it holds it just in position, so it doesn't move around while you're filing. This this uh, right here is just to keep it from going in too deep into the sawtooth. You don't want to grind it away off, you just want to sharpen the edge. So this is your edge and you're up and down. So basically you have your angle you set here. There's also a, uh, a degree this way. Uh, I just leave it on zero. Um, I've never uh, played with that at all. And I set it at 35 depending on which saw teeth I'm doing on the ch saw chain. And that's basically it. Uh, once you've done it a couple times and you throw this thing on your saw, you realize that uh, you've done it right or you'll know if you've done it right or not because if you don't cut, then that means you didn't do it right. And you just learn from practice. But uh, overall, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Well, uh, okay, I'll do a couple more.
try one more. So I just roll the chain ahead. I've made a mark with a magic marker so I know where I started on the top of the... Uh, I made a mark with this green marker so I know where I started when I started sharpening. Do, uh, you just keep going until you go around the whole chain, the saw chain, until they're all sharp and you come to your reference mark. And um, after you do a chain or two, you'll get the hang of it. It works, uh, it's, uh, you get faster and better, more proficient at it as you, more you, more you do it. And, to, to, and uh, it's worth the time here. If it takes you 15, 20 minutes to do a chain, it's so much quicker to have a sharp chain. It's less dangerous um, using a sharp chain, obviously, than a dull one. And there's nothing like getting on a piece of wood that you just can't get through it because your chain is so dull. It will drive you crazy. It will take up more time. It's hard on the saw. So it's this is time well well spent right here making sure that your saw chains are sharp for your chainsaw.